Hey guys, thanks for joining back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to be going over Cardano, which is a new coin on this channel. Um, we're going to be going over it. It won the Twitter poll that I had. There were over 400 votes. Um, it was between Cardano, Monero, um, Binance Coin, and um, Bitcoin Cash. And um, Cardano quite handily won um, in the end. Um, so we're going to be going over Cardano. Cardano, if you guys like this content, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on and like the video. And if you want to dive deeper into this stuff and ask questions, feel free to join the Telegram channel um, in the link below. Um, and so let's just get started. So, you know, one of the things that we do on this channel is we like to, um, we like to develop these logarithmic regression lines of assets that have been around for an extended period of time. We've done it for Bitcoin, we've done it for um, Litecoin, Ethereum, um, and now we're doing it for um, Cardano. And, and we've also done it for Nano as well. So one of the issues with, with doing it with coins that are newer, such as Nano and Cardano, is that there's not a whole lot of data to go off of. Um, you know, fitting these logarithmic regression lines with the less data you have, the more dubious it is. I mean, it's already dubious even if you have 10 years of data um, to have these logarithmic regression lines, but it at least seems to have some more predictive power the more data you have. And, that, and that's pretty much, you know, it's par for the course when you're in the scientific community. And, you know, anyone in the scientific community would tell you that extrapolation is very um, uh, frowned upon. But, you know, it's something that, I, I just like to put out there because, you know, I've noticed that with a lot of the older coins, um, they do kind of follow these logarithmic bands and, you know, they, they oscillate between these bands, but more or less the price is steadily increasing over the years. And this, this is true for, um, you know, many of these coins that we've looked at. So with Cardano, you know, it launched at the end of 2017 and because of the time of the launch, it almost immediately went parabolic. I mean, if you were getting in down here, you were, um, you know, you were getting in at, at a really great time because it pretty quickly went up around 100x um, in a very short time frame. And, you know, many of us were there. Um, many of us saw this occur. And we, we rode this all the way up. Now the key thing, and I've, I've mentioned this on a lot of the videos that I make, is smart money versus dumb money. Now smart money gets in, you know, when there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, you know, just people are speculating um, early on. There's a lot of fear in the market. When there's a lot of fear in the market, you know, we're really not sure which way it's going to go. Um, that's when you want to get in. The problem is, is that the hordes aren't attracted until it's already up 10x. And at this point, you know, the smart money is starting to sell into the hands of dumb money. So, you know, the issue with this is that, you know, down here, it's, you know, in, in these regions, I would consider investing in these assets more of a long-term investment. If you're investing at peaks that are already up 100x, if you bought at $1, you know, learn your lesson. Just don't make the same mistake again. A lot of times, I like to say in this space, you either um, you either you know stay long enough in it to become the smart money, or you capitulate as the dumb money and then potentially join back in four years later when it's it's all going up again potentially. Um, so we've you know we've covered risk tolerance videos, how you dollar cost average your way in, but also how you dollar cost average your way out. Um, that's important because if you don't, you know, it's very easy to miss these tops. And if you're selling, say, 20% at each of these levels, um, then you can then you can look back on it and, and be happy that you were able to make some profit. Instead, I'm sure many people, you know, even bought over here, wrote it all the way up, didn't sell a thing, and then wrote it, wrote it all the way down. And, you know, lesson, you know, just take that as a lesson. Um, now, some exciting things for Cardano is, you know, I mean, there's a there's a pretty big community behind it. It's, you know, with the incentivized test net um, going on and, you know, Shelly to be released early next year, you know, now it, it's potentially now is a, a decent time to get in. If you look at the lower logarithmic regression line down here, um, you can see that uh, and, and again, there's really not a whole lot of data to go off of here, 
But if if you look at it, you know, we, we were able to match this point and this point as being, you know, really great times to enter the market. And, you know, we have, we, we came below the yellow band. We held support on it for a little bit. Here we held resistance for a while, and then, went, you know, we finally broke through it. Here we were holding it again as support, and then now we've broken through it and we're, we're headed back down. Um, if you're curious what the price is of, of this band, like, you know, suppose that we, we complete this and come down to the orange band again, that would correspond to a price of around three cents. Um, if it were to occur, say, in a few weeks. Um, now, you know, clearly if Bitcoin is capitulating down to, say, $5,000, Cardano is going down with it. I mean, it's you need to respect the fact that Bitcoin controls the market. And typically, the sooner you, you respect that and learn that, um, the better off you are when you, you, know, you, you carry out your investments. So with that said, um, we have these logarithmic regression lines. And you know, this, this first one represents where this peak came up to at a little over a dollar. Now, if we were to extend this all the way out, you know, if you if you watch the videos on my channel, I'm actually a very big proponent of not a four year market cycle. I feel like a lot of the data suggests that we're more like in a five to six year market cycle this time around. And um, it, you know, it's pretty straightforward because uh, you know the, there was a there was a bull run in 2011, there was a bull run in 2013, there was a bull run in 2017. This is not every four years. It's just the last market cycle was four years and because the halving is every four years approximately, you know, your your brain just automatically assumes that the cycle is four years, but it's not true. And in fact, if you look at, say, the doubling time videos that I've made for a few videos, uh, for a few coins recently, um, and you look at all sorts of different analysis, like the ROI from the market cycle bottom of Bitcoin, all of it suggests that the market cycle this time around is going to be longer. And if I had to, if I had to guess when it might be, I would say the end of 2022, um, quarter four 2022. Um, but obviously, that's just you know my my instinct. And obviously, there's if there is a bull run, it you know it, it can very well occur in 2021 or 2023 or, or who knows when. Um, but let's let's suppose uh, for the sake of argument that it occurs at the end of 2022. Um, and also, I, I should I should mention that if you look at the halving each time Bitcoin halves. Um, the, the block rewards have the the time for for the price of Bitcoin to go parabolic is getting longer and longer. Um, so this time around, if it's longer and it takes longer to to build up um, to that mania phase, then it, it makes sense that the cycle is going to be longer. Um, but anyways, um, back to Cardano. So if we are you know if we're assuming that we are on this you know say five or six year cycle. Then we can imagine that we might, you know, we might come down, touch this orange line again. It's possible that that's going to represent, you know, some of the best long-term buying opportunity you might have. It's possible we don't even go back down uh, to this level. Um, and I just, you know, loosely drew this. Obviously, it's not exact. Um, uh, but what does that mean? It means that, as I mentioned before, you know, 2019 was a great year. To, to really start accumulating. As long as you're accumulating coins when their risk tolerance is below um, 0.3, which, you know, look, check out the other videos if you if you want to learn more about that. Um, now, you know, when it's above 0.3, we have these gray areas and we have these sell zones. So right now, I mean, Cardano, as far as the risk is concerned, um, at least compared to historically where it's been, is actually very low right now. Um, I mean, it was it was at ten cents not even that long ago. Um, so if you think about it in terms of that, I mean, you're really get a lot, getting a lot of ADA for your for your money at this point in time. Um, and you know, the funny thing with, with these market cycles is is when 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 these coins go up to say ten cents, or you know, if, if Cardano were to go back up to ten cents, there's always people saying, "Man, I wish I could have gotten more when it was say three cents or four cents." Um, but it's like you know, when it was that price, you didn't jump on it. And it's that price now. And, you know, are you jumping on the price? Um, you know, that's that's for you to decide if, if you want to make this investment. Now, Cardano, um, it does have a, um, it has a lot, you know, I, I mean, I, I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff where people look forward to with this project. Um, after, you know, with the incentivized test net, with Shelly, 
Um, we have a lot of stuff that's going to be rolling out here in the next few months that is going to generate some more interest from people who have stayed out of Cardano because it didn't really have a, a product yet. Um, and so I, I, I do think that if, if, you, if you think about it like that, in the sense that you know, the price is actually very low right now um, compared to where it has been, we are basically on the, 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 the precipice of, of a lot of new features rolling out in, in 2020. And you know, there, there are going to be these, these obstacles with getting these, um, these dApps uh, to come on board. But you know, it, it's not impossible to, to see transitions from one blockchain to another. I mean, this, this sort of stuff happens in, in the tech industry. I mean, it, it, it is challenging, obviously. I mean, there's, there's industries that use codes that were written four decades ago or five decades ago when there are much better solutions today. But there are other industries, there are other tech companies that are adapting to, to, to new and improved um, technology. And, and Cardano is, you know, it's being, it's been built out slowly and methodically over several years um, by a group of academics. And you know, everything that that is going through this project is going under peer review, which, I mean, I, I do appreciate. Um, if you are not familiar with my channel, I, I do hold a PhD in engineering and nuclear engineering. Um, so I, I really do appreciate the, the peer review process for uh, for these these coding developments because you know getting a second pair of eyes um, Can really help the development of, of a project because when you're when you're so involved in a project Sometimes it's hard to, to step back and, and, and look at it from a different perspective and, and reviewers can really help you do that so you know Cardano is being built out slowly and methodically and you know these things take time and and we're, we're hoping that you know, those who have invested in, in Cardano will be duly rewarded. Now, with that said, I mean, obviously Cardano is, is a decent hedge against Ethereum, and there are a lot of, um, you know, there are a lot of, there's, I mean, there's whole tokens, uh, tons of token t tokens that are, that have been built on Ethereum already. Um, but, you know, I mean, think the, 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 the cryptocurrency space can change on a dime. And if, if another bull run does take off, you have to be banking on, will Cardano be part of it? Will, will this, new, um, this new blockchain technology that is, is, is supposed to be making it you know, more seamless for these, these new decentralized apps to come on board, will it be part of it? And if the answer is yes, if it will be part of it, then investing in it when the market is down is historically, in other regards, when the smart money is coming in. So the, so the, the dumb money will come in later. Um, you know, it, the dumb money might be coming in over here um, where people are more or less speculating. But investments on a long-term scale will be coming in when the market is fearful. And it's clear that the market is fearful right now. I mean, Bitcoin has gone from 14 to, to 7k in just a few months, Cardano has gone from 10 cents down to where it is now, just a few cents in, in a few months as well. Um, it doesn't mean we can't go lower. We easily could go lower. It's, that's not the point. The point is, is if you're, if you're convinced of the future of Cardano, then worrying about short-term price movements now when we are, you know, we are definitely in the pits of the bear market. I mean, it, it could go lower. Maybe we're at the bottom, maybe we're not, but are you going to really worry in, you know, in 2022, are you going to be that concerned about small, you know, these smaller term price movements of, of Cardano or ADA in, in 2019? So, you know, Cardano obviously is a, is a risky coin. It's, I mean, it is in the top 10 um, or thereabouts. I mean, it, it is changing obviously all the time. And I'm not including stable coins when I look at the top 10, but, you know, it is around the top 10 and, there are a lot of people invested in it. There's a lot of people that want to see it succeed. Um, and, you know, we will be continuing to follow Cardano on this channel, um, especially as we have more data, we can actually start filling out more of these charts that we have. Because, you know, as these logarithmic regression lines show, you know, there's really not a whole lot of data that we're being even fit to over here. So let's just quickly look at, at the Bitcoin logarithmic regression line so you can see, you know, these these do look a lot a lot cleaner 
you can see that in in both market cycle the, the last this market cycle and the one before it we have held support on this lower logarithmic regression line it currently corresponds to a price of around five thousand dollars if we were to fall down to it today um, which also corresponds to the 200 week moving average which bitcoin has never closed below so begs the question if bitcoin does fall to five thousand dollars you know, maybe it's going to correspond with ADA coming coming down to this orange line, um, which is around three cents. So, I mean, it might go below three cents, but it you know that could be corresponding to the to to a bottom as well. Um, so you know, I don't really have a whole lot else for this video. We're going to be doing a series on on Cardano in general. Um, I do I do really like uh, this coin, um, or I, I I like the tech behind it and. It, it has interested me since it's come out. I mean, I, I started following it years and years ago when it was just an idea. Um, and to, to see it launched, to see all the enthusiasm, and then now the bear market, but despite the bear market, there still is a, a pretty tight-knit community that I've that I, that I I I've noticed over these years. Um, it's interesting to see, and we will be following this coin in the future. Now, if you guys have, you know, very specific graphs that you want to see of Cardano, um, let me know in the comments below. You can check out the other YouTube videos I have on my channel. We look at all sorts of things like time to double your investment, time to triple it historically. We've looked at comparing, you know, all these different coins with Bitcoin. We've looked at risk tolerance. Um, we've looked at your, you know, your annual ROI or your three-month ROI or what day of the week has historically been the best time to buy based on the percentage difference for that year or that week. Um, we've looked at all sorts of things. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. Um, I also have a Patreon account if you guys want to dive deeper um, and, and subscribe to, to some of this content and, and see a little bit more. So that'll also be in the description below. Um, I think that's it for this video, guys. If you guys like the video, again, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.